Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your mid to end September 2019 general love reading. This is Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button should this message resonate with you Sagittarius. So guys, before I get into anything else, I just want to say within the last series I posted, I reached 50,000 subscribers. Guys, I did not imagine coming anywhere near this number so quick. Thank you, you guys. I love you guys so much. I wouldn't be here without you guys, really. Um, this whole journey with me has been very new, very different. And to show my appreciation for you guys, I am doing a giveaway. Um, so the main deck I'll be using is called the Casanera Nova Tarot deck. Um, sorry about the glare. And so if you want to win a chance or enter to win a chance to get one of these decks, go ahead and check the description box. It will be under the Vimeo link for the extended version of this reading. And you'll go ahead and see the instructions on how you can win this deck for yourself. I'm giving out two decks and the winner will be announced October 15th, okay? So that's that. Let's get into it. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Sagittarius. This is not going to resonate with every single Sagittarius. If it doesn't resonate with you, Sagittarius, I suggest checking your rising moon and Venus signs because depending on the planetary aspects in the sky, those signs may resonate with you more than your sun sign. Crosswatchers, you're very welcome here as well. Please keep in mind that I'm picking up on Sagittarius and crosswatcher energy, so if you feel like the roles should be reversed, please feel free to do that, and that goes for you too, Sagittarius. Um, this is a very, very big population I'm picking up on, right? So it's Unfortunately, I cannot go over every single scenario, every single situation. Um, you know, besides that being impossible, my guides kind of guide me into saying what messages need to be heard during this time for those who really need to hear them. So that's how I prioritize the messages that come through here. Please also know that we all have divine feminine and masculine energies within us. When I'm saying masculines or feminines, I'm referring to the energies, not the you know, gender or sex, if anything is gender or sex specific that I see in the cards, I will let you know. Um, at this time, I am not accepting orders for personal readings, but I do welcome you to go ahead and check out the extended reading at the end of this, um, at the end of this video, and go ahead and check out my Instagrams as well. All right, guys, let's get started. All right. Angel spirits and guides, please provide the energy that Sagittarius will be having mid to end September 2019 in regards to love. What animal will Sagittarius be embodying, energetically speaking, mid to end September? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Panther, Sagittarius. Okay, you're fierce. You're fierce right now. You know what you want. You know what you're going to go after. You're not backing down. You've really come into your power or you'll be coming into your power in September, um, you know, mid to end September. I feel like some of you may be a bit defensive towards someone in particular or you're just a bit on the defensive. And I feel like it's gotten to a point now where you're just going to have to let that very honest, open Sagittarius side out of you and really give them what's good. Communication-wise, I feel like for some of you it's as if, I don't know, this per the person you're connecting with or whoever's on your mind during this reading is just not understanding what you're saying, not, uh, it's like not like the, some of you, you guys could, you know, come from a different culture um, different ethnic ethnicities, maybe even different countries, but I'm not feeling that so much as the case as, I don't know, I feel like there's something where they're not picking up the hint. I don't know if that's like them avoiding the connection you have, or maybe you just making yourself very clear on what you want, but regardless, you're going to be known. You're fierce. 
You're fierce as hell. And let's see. What energy will they be holding in September? What energy will a person that Sagittarius is connecting with? Very powerful though, Sagittarius. Very powerful. The owl. Okay. So, with this being a fire element and this being an air element, you could be dealing with an air sign. Someone in their moon, rising, or Venus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or just strongly aspected in their chart. Doesn't have to be. This person's very, very wise. I feel like they may not be communicating as much, which is why it's kind of putting you on this defensive or this ready, even some of you, not like attack, honestly, but like something as if, what's going on? What do you want from this? What do you want from me? And this person, I think, is really biding their time. They're very intuitive. Um, they're very knowledgeable. They could be older than you, or they just have like an old soul to them. I don't know, I'm getting like Cancer or Pisces vibes as well from this owl card, even though it's like an air element. But I, I'm really drawn to the colors right now of black and white here. This could be a very masculine and feminine energy coming out. Type of a divine masculine, divine feminine that's coming and approaching here. And I really feel like Sagittarius for this, um, till the mid end September, you're going to take on a very masculine energy. And you're finally going to put on this action to get things going. Honestly, I feel like this person's just waiting for your action, waiting for you to approach them, waiting for you to see what you're going to do with this. Some of you may even like contact each other at the nighttime where you guys really hang out at night with the after work or on the weekends. You may go to each other's houses after. But honestly, I also feel like a lot of you have been doing a lot of healing to your heart chakra and you just don't want to get hurt again you don't you're not going to go through it again and to protect yourself and to protect your heart i feel like this person's just very mysterious to you and instead of being upfront and honest for how you may perceive it and how you may feel it's like they keep on being elusive and mysterious and you're kind of just done with it you may have found it kind of enticing and chanting at first but now it's kind of like okay I want this, or I want to get this going, I want to get this started. I'm ready to show you that I got the power you need to keep me around. I'm a one of a kind, I'm a fighter. And I know what I want, and I know what I don't want. And it's like almost as if you're not sure if this person is the person you want, or the person that you need because they're just not saying anything. They're not expressing themselves purely. They're just waiting. I feel like they're waiting and they're observing Sagittarius. What's the main factor in this connection here for mid to end September? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the main factor within this relationship and this connection currently? Oh, you got two. Okay. Yeah, deceit and loyalty. Okay, yeah. So, Sagittarius, at the bottom of the deck, we do have meditation. So, this is something I feel like you and this person has been contemplating for a while now. You want this union to happen. You want to come together. But I feel like there's not enough communication to be had to where you two can really become in that place where you feel both open and vulnerable to each other to really get this going, to really get this started. I do feel like strongly though, again with the black and white and with 25 breaking down to a 7, this is something very spiritual. You feel a very spiritual connection here. But Sagittarius, with the combination of these cards here with Deceit, and Panther, it's as if you're afraid this person is just going to fuck around with you or just not going to really express how they feel, express their passion. And you almost feel like, are you playing me? Or what? what is your motive? What is your... 
what is your true desire with me? Because I'm starting to feel this shadiness going on here. I feel like you're ready to cut the bullshit out. I'm almost feeling like I'm seeing in my mind's eye that Ace of Swords type of energy where it's like, tell me what you want from this so we can move on. You see that fire type of energy too. Honestly, the fire is coming from you, Sagittarius, and you're using that fire to make yourself very understood, very known about what, how you want to take this and where you want to go with this. And you're, you're cutting any deceit out of your way. You've dealt with that. Some of you, you've dealt with that. And that was part of the heart chakra healing I was getting from earlier. And you're, you're not with the deceit anymore. You're not. And honestly though, Sagittarius, I do feel like this person knows that you're starting to question their loyalty, question what they bring to the table. They, I feel like they're just really working on not only just observing you, but it's almost as if like they're kind of playing themselves at this point because this inaction is making it shadier and shadier, but really I feel like they're like, okay, if I really want to engage with Sagittarius, if I really want to see where this goes, I want to make sure that this is something where I can commit to for a long time. I don't get, no, I'm getting something about maybe some people are, um, the person you're connecting with or cross watcher if it's vice versa, um, they may be doing, having a lot right now. They may have their own business or they're maybe throwing themselves into work a bit. And I feel as if they're just kind of not giving you 100% of their time because of whatever side project they're working on. They really, I don't feel like it's as deceptive as you are feeling they're coming from because of this. I'm almost feeling inconsistency. Sometimes this person may just be like really, you know, down with you one moment and then the next moment it's kind of like they're gone. They're not there. They're in the night. They're just waiting, observing, watching. And it's as if, where, where is your loyalty? And I think they're kind of realizing that if they don't put themselves out there to fully serve you, serve the connection, you're just not going to have it anymore. And they may miss out on a chance with you. So they're really realizing loyalty is coming into play here. And you're questioning the loyalty they have with this connection they have with you. But honestly, with the owl energy that they have, I just see them as still trying to work things out within them, spiritually even. Some of them are going through their own awakening. Some of them are just, I don't know, I'm, you could be dealing with a Virgo. I'm kind of picking up on some hermit vibes um, of them just kind of working on themselves, whether it is business or whether it is just spiritually they're disconnecting so they can awaken with that meditation card, absolutely. So let's see how they feel about you, Sagittarius. Or how you feel about them, and then vice versa. How do they feel about you, Sagittarius? Judgment in reverse with the six of, or the four of pentacles in reverse. Okay, yeah. So, Sagittarius, they're realizing they're realizing that you're not going to hold on to this for much longer. I feel like they know that their second chance is going to be missed out on if they don't put to action of anything. They need to come out of this stagnancy. They need to come out of this, um, you know, not moving, not making an effort to go forth. I don't know. This person could be very much into hikes or hiking. You could, you guys could hike together a lot. I'm seeing, um, but they need to take the chance to be vulnerable with you, Sagittarius. They need to take the chance to show you that they are, <sighs> that they really do care about you and that maybe from their inaction, 
it's really nothing personal, but it's not anything you're going to continue to waste your time on. And I think they're seeing that, Sag. Others of you, I feel like I don't know why I'm getting this feeling that maybe they feel like you won't give them a second chance. For a very small amount of you, I almost feel like this could have been someone who betrayed your trust in a way. I'm not feeling so much third party as I am just like, this person's not putting the same passion in it as you. This person's not wasn't putting the same energy in it as you. And because of that, it's like, they're afraid, why should I hold on to this if Sagittarius is not going to give me a second chance? I've, I waited too long. I didn't open up so enough sooner. But Sagittarius, I honestly feel like during the mid to end of September, they will open up. It's time for them to open up. They don't want you to give them the final call, the final judgment, the final, you know what, I'm done. They're ready to open up. They're ready to really show you. I think they're done with that mysticism, uh, mysticism, mystery, you know, am I in it, am I not? I think they're ready to finally let go of that insecurity and really put themselves out there. But at the same time, I think whatever was keeping them back is that, will they give me a second chance? Let's see how you feel about them, Sagittarius. How does Sagittarius feel about them at this time? Or during mid to end September 2019? How does Sagittarius feel about this person? Justice, yeah. Sagittarius, like, you could have Libra somewhere in your chart. Um, a moon or rising or just strongly aspected somewhere, but you want the truth. You want clarity. Sagittarius, if this person did betray you, if this person did not give you, you know, the same time you did, if they, I don't know, some of you may have been ghosted by this person. Um... And they're kind of awakening now to seeing how fucked up that was. That what they did to you by not giving you, you know, the same passion, the same energy, the same vulnerability that you gave them. And I think you're going to make it clear, you know, I, this, you know, I'll be damned if you do this to me again. You know, quite frankly, I feel like you don't care why they separated, why they keep on going in and out, or even if they completely ghosted you. You want the right explanation, you want the truth, or it's done. I don't know, some of you may have like very like icy colored hair, like the um, ashen colored hair, silver hair. Um, very beautiful, like some of you guys use like purple shampoo to keep it that way. Um, but you would just want justice from the situation. You want truth. You want clarity. You want honesty. And I feel like for those of you I'm picking up on, you will give them the chance should they prove that they deserve it. If they don't, hasta la vista. You're very strong now, Sagittarius. You're very strong very powerful and they see you for that too some of you are very like you guys are very clean people the ones i'm picking up on sagittarius and you're like sheets your bed sheets are just like bleached white <laughs> and you can't stand it if there's like a spot or a hair or anything you don't let people eat in your bed for some of you um and you know you guys like wash your sheets like a lot to keep that pure white color some of you not all you're very tidy people but anyway enough's enough and you're ready to see where this is going to go see how this is going to be taken 
if it's worth taking. Justice is here for you, and justice will work in your favor, Sagittarius. I do. I, I feel like they realize kind of the bullshit. I don't want to clarify justice, just to see exactly what what's going on for some of you. Why is justice here for how Sagittarius feels about their person on their mind, significant other, cross watcher? I almost feel like some of you, not all obviously, but if this is like almost their last chance for some of you and it's like we're either going to break up or I'm not going to talk to you anymore or even some of you, it's like you may even want a divorce. King of Wands. Okay, so yeah, there's fire all around, but for a lot of you, you this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And it's like you're standing in your power. You are not bending anymore. You are... Let's put this closer. <laughs> Almost as if, like... Almost as if some of you guys are just going to kind of, like... It's going to be one thing that they say, one thing that they do... And then it's like, I'm hearing like bloodthirsty, not like you're really going to go for their blood or anything, but you're just like, no, I've had it. Either you tell me the truth, you tell me the honest truth. Let me hold up the Libra card here. Justice. I'm not compromising. I'm not. I'm standing in my power, sitting in my strength, and I'm going to deliberate from what you respond to me, how this is going to proceed. Really, honestly, Sagittarius, the ball's in your court. I, I'm almost seeing orange right now, like very sacral energy coming. Very intense desire, um, Sagittarius, to really fight for what you want and what you need from this connection. And I do feel like deep, deep down, you do want something from this. But... If they're not going to put in the fight for it, neither are you. Neither are you. Again, very masculine energy. Energy. Keyword, right? Okay. What does Sagittarius like the most from this connection? Temperance. Okay, here we go. Temperance, the King of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. So Sagittarius, why I feel like you like the most from this connection, or what you guys both benefit from this connection here, is that there's a lot of, almost as if I feel like for some of you, this connection is somewhat divinely guided, whether you guys do have a soul contract with each other to learn some lessons here. You guys could be dealing with an earth sign. Again, I said Virgo earlier, but it could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. I feel like for a while, Sagittarius, in this connection, when things got heated, things got, um, you know, a bit tense, a bit icy, or just like there was a lot of issues evolving. Maybe there um, was other people trying to fight for the attention of the person you're interested in. Or maybe people were fighting for your attention, Sagittarius. But you were always brought like some sense of balance into this situation. Clarity into this situation. Which is why I was feeling so much like your energy of always being before the one to compromise. The one to be have the solutions. The one to kind of rescue some of the situations that would occur in this relationship. Some of you guys, I'm getting, you know, this could be a coworker you're working with, could be your boss for some of you, honestly, or it's someone that's really good with money. And that's why maybe a lot for that energy I was picking up on earlier, they just kind of throw themselves into their work. But Sagittarius, you stayed calm for a very long time. You were patient. You didn't want to like lose your shit when they would come in and out or just have like something of like, oh, I've just been busy. 
for a while you were able to keep things calm you were able to balance you know the fire in you and the water in you and kind of blend those two together the passions and the motions so nothing ever really boiled over nothing really ever toppled over and some of you you may even do business with this person directly um, you guys are in a business venture together or one of you invested in the other's business um, so that's why it kind of works out so well and if that's the case too if you guys work together or if you're in a business together or you guys invested in each other's business whatever the case is um, you guys beat out a lot of competition with your business I'm almost getting jealousy too like I don't know Sagittarius either like there's people who are jealous that you two are together there's people that are your ex or something involved that may be jealous of the connection but really I feel like you just this person may be someone who you really spent a lot of time with a lot of energy with because you saw the potential that they had you saw the value that they can provide to you in your life and that's why they beat out all the other competition and they did for you know maybe in the beginning really have something to give but I feel like even if you look at these cards right they're facing each other and the bullshit's all behind them like they didn't let too many people interfere with what you guys had even if people tried to Neither of you were paying attention really to anyone else. So that's why I feel like, Sag, if you feel like a very small amount of you um, may feel like, you know, this person is out doing no good with other people, I don't feel like that's the case. Honestly, I feel like it is, and that's where you're getting defensive because maybe that's happened to you before, Sagittarius, where you're cheated on or you were just... If this person ghosted you, I think it's honestly because they had some self-work to do. But really, you saw like the value that they had, and that's why that connection kept you going. Some of you, this person could very easily be very rich, um, make a lot of money. I'm very entrepreneurial. Maybe they're entrepreneurs. They started their own business even, and that's what attracted you to them. It could be again Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What do you not like about the connection? What do you not like about the connection, Sagittarius? What do you both not like about the connection in each other? Honestly, Sag, they just don't want to miss out on the opportunity with you. And I think they're realizing that it's very close with you. And honestly, all they have to do is give you the truth. Yeah, because this is the thing. Look at this. What's not liked in the relationship, Six of Swords. You know, it's as if, like, look, are you with me? Are you not? Are we going to work on this with the Eight of Pentacles? Or are we just going to move on from each other? Some of you could even be at a distance from each other. Um, overseas, even. Um, I don't know why I'm seeing the Pacific Ocean. For some of you, that may resonate. But it's as if, like, you know, I'm not going to keep climbing these stairs. For you, if you're not going to do the same, out of fear of vulnerability, fear of not being open, providing the truth, providing clarity because you're unsure of yourself. But I think they're realizing, you know, if they're not going to, you know, frankly, get their ass out of bed to kind of go pursue you, pursue this connection, you're moving on. It'll hurt. It'll be painful because, again, like I do, I am picking up on a very divine type of connection or divinely guided in some way whether that is a soulmate soul contract karmic something has been learned from both of you but whether that's going to keep on working on it 
or it's just gonna go, that's for them really to decide. But really, Sagittarius, I feel like they'll hang on should you let them. They'll still, you know, take their time should you not make that communication. They'll still sit, observe, see what you're going to do. If you're not going to be in that King of Wands, Panther <laughs> vibe of really being like, look, I'm done with this. You're going to be with me. You're not. Are you going to ride out with me? Are you not? Or Because or, I'm going to take my sweet ass somewhere else. I know my worth. Do you know yours? Honestly, so a lot of them, I feel like they just have inner work to do, Sag. And I feel like you, for a while, you were patient with it, but it's it's getting to the point where it's like, no, no more. No more. Again, some of you could be in business, and maybe for some of you, it's like, that's why it's been... Maybe they feel like it may not be appropriate to continue the relationship should you guys work together or have a business together and maybe that's why they're a bit in and out or observing and watching more than acting. But, you know, quite frankly, I feel like since it started, it, it should end. Um, you, and, and not end, like, you know, end the relationship, but, you know, end with you guys having a connection because it's just worse keeping it in and out you know, up and down, all around. God damn, this ain't a roller coaster at, you know, Six Flags. This is a relationship. Work on it or leave me the hell alone. That's for some, okay? All right, Sagittarius. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this to extending and see, um, you know, what the likely outcome of the situation is and what their plan of actions are towards you. But before we go, I'm going to go ahead, and any advice as well, but I'm going to go ahead and pull a card from the Romance Angels card. I'm going to see what their energy is towards this connection that they may not be expressing to you at this time. I feel like for a lot of you with that Panther Deceit card, it's like that you need to hear right now to gain, you know, the slightest bit of information if this is really worth it or not. Retreat. Time to disconnect the world from the world. And interestingly enough, we have wedding as well. So they have been retreating, right? They have been disconnecting, but again, Sagittarius, I feel like they are doing it to work on themselves so they can give you the same energy that you've been putting in. Also, I think for some of you, this retreat card, I'm feeling like there needs to be time spent just the two of you. You know, not at like a public place, like a dinner. Well, you know, be safe, of course, right? <laughs> That's intuitive. Um, but like, you know, just somewhere where you guys can really talk. Not anywhere where it could become like a big show and a fight and like, you know, because I do feel like this person could be a bit insecure. And that's why they're not really expressing themselves. That's really why they're not saying anything. And with the wedding card, some of you could even be married to this person. Um, or, you know, this could be the person should everything work out that you eventually marry. I feel like even some of you have been waiting on a proposal for this person. And maybe that's why it's kind of like you have this deceit energy of like you've been telling me you want to get married. You've been telling me you want this to be long term. We've been dating, for some of you, I'm getting the number eight. Um, I don't know if you've been seeing eight a lot, or it's been eight years, eight months. See, I mean, I don't know. People want to get married whenever they want to, but um, they could be born in the month of August or on the eighth, the eighth of any month. But anyway, um, it's as if, like, look, I, I do feel this really strong connection, but... I do want to marry you, Sag, or I've envisioned marrying you, proposing to you. But I have been retreating so I can make myself a better person for you, whether you see that or not, whether you think I'm doing shady or not. Very, very small, small, small amount of you this person did, but mainly I'm feeling like this had cheating happened to you before with a different person, Sag, and that's why your defenses are a bit up. 
because of this retreating, you're like, oh, I've seen this before, you know, this isn't my first rodeo, but honestly, I, I do feel like this person has good intention towards you. They just have been working on themselves, but you're not going to wait forever, you know? Alright Sagittarius, if you want to join me for the extended so we can see some advice and the likely outcome of the situation, go ahead and please check out the Vimeo description in the box. Um, in the description box, if you'd like to win this deck that I was using for your main deck, the Casanova deck, go ahead and check that out as well in the description box. I, this is where we depart. I love you guys very much and I wish you all the best. Take care.